What's up everybody? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amanda back at it again with another video. <laughs> I know we don't have um as many videos going out these days and that's solely because I feel like there's nothing that I need to share that you guys don't know about me and my hair. <laughs> I've honestly been feeling like everything that I keep sharing or resharing, I've already shared before and you guys are like, yeah, we know that. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, we know that. That's the same issue I'm having with Instagram. Nevertheless, here I am with a wash day. <laughs> I think I have about maybe eight wash days on my channel and each of those are on different stages of my life and different stages of my hate journey and talking about stages i need to blow my nose so i'm um, talking about each stages of my hair this is a new stage that i'm in i posted a video i think two videos back um talking about me cutting my hair again and my favorite favorite people commented down below um basically asking me why are you cutting your hair again why does it always seem like you're cutting your hair um things you can do to prevent cutting your hair and those two ladies i absolutely adore um and i understood where their comments are coming from and i just wanted to make a video to clarify why i'm always cutting my hair in case you are also curious but you don't want to send me a message you don't want to dm me you don't want to put it down in the comments but you're like this girl is always cutting her hair why should i be cutting her hair why is she always cutting her hair this is why <laughs> um i hope you guys can hear me again my mic is broken but i hope this microphone is helping with that okay so today is a wash day so i'm gonna be detangling my hair while i'm doing that to wash shampoo my hair i'm gonna be using the duck and lovely three in one moisture shampoo to deep condition i'm going back to an old 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 faithful um that is the olive oil replenish and conditioner listen i love 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 this conditioner back in the day um i stopped using it for a little while and i, I don't know why honestly and i remember oh yeah i became a parent and became price conscious and became you know all of these things just started clicking in the price of products is not cheap like <laughs> products these days are not cheap you know um and there's so many on the market that um one does tend to get carried away and i was really carried away at a point in time i was definitely a product junkie um and then that slowed down but now i'm picking up my favorites i'm picking up products that i used to love and used to use religiously and they are doing wonders to my hair i love what they're doing to my hair i love how they make my hair feel and i'm just there like why did i stop using them? you know all that to say i'll be using the rs um replenishing conditioner if you've never tried this conditioner what are you waiting for so why do i keep cutting your hair why does it seem like every time you come on my channel in the last year i've just been cutting my hair um answer is actually very simple and <laughs> it's something that i've been talking about for years even when i started my hair journey but i think it's because my hair then was um shorter you know if you have short hair already um it's not as jarring when you keep cutting your hair but if your hair is getting longer and getting longer and was long at a point in time and now you're trying to get it longer again but you keep cutting the hair um people tend to be like girl your hair is not getting longer because you keep cutting it i keep cutting it because it's not growing the way i want it to grow um i have thick hair i have maybe not the highest density hair but you know somewhere up there in the high densities and i know what my hair can look like and i'm working towards that i have suffered a lot of different damages throughout the last couple of um years last two years last two or three years and my hair has just not been the same since pregnancy right and i've just been trying to work my hair towards what i know my hair can look like um am i scissor happy yes but that's solely because i know what i want <laughs> i know what i want and i know what i'm looking um for like for now i'm looking at these ends and i'm like i don't want my ends to look like that you know but i'm trying to hold myself back from picking up the scissors and literally just snipping it right here because that's that's exactly what i would do i would snip it right here and all these ends would be gone actually i think i should do that 
um yeah i know what my hair is supposed to look like i know what my hair is supposed to feel like i know how my hair absorbs um products and stuff and when my hair is not looking like that or feeling like that or absorbing product the way it's meant to absorb product or um i'm not getting the look that i'm so i didn't realize that my battery died while i was talking <laughs> um but yeah I, I don't even know what i say to end it off but yeah um until i'm happy with my hair i think i'm gonna keep documenting the changes that i do to my hair until i'm happy with my hair um this journey is very personal to me and as much as i would love to have long hair i would love to have thick healthy hair more than i would love to have long healthy hair you know i would um yeah like i want my hair to be thick i want my hair to be healthy um whether it's in a bob form or tailbone form i do want it to maintain its thickness and its healthiness going all the way down um currently i am happy with my hair i did cut off a lot if you haven't watched that video i will um link it down up somewhere for you to see uh of me basically cutting a couple inches of my hair and that's because my hair was looking no my hair wasn't looking right um is it product caused i don't think so um i don't think the products are the what is making my hair um as thin as it is i just think my hair was thinning out all of last year and the year before that and as i'm growing back thicker hair as you can see this is definitely getting thicker as i'm growing back thicker hair i'm starting to see that my ends are not what they should be you know um and that's unfortunately what happens to growing back thicker hair new growth um you start to realize that hmm okay this is not where it should be this is not where my um hair should be it's not where it was supposed to be so yeah hey anyway, let's get to this wash day <laughs> But if I was going in the shower, I would be detangling my hair down so that I don't tangle my hair while I'm in the shower. I can go wash my hair. thoroughly cooked it is cooked it is ready i'm opening the oven what it's looking like oh it's so hot oh it's so hot okay it's actually really hot this new bro oh that feels nice Let's go watch this out. 